Hi, I'm Dr. Carolee Johnson with the Quantum Techniques Daily Blog. Um, today, I would like to show you how to make a natural sunscreen that's about an SPF 20. I know that it's getting to be about uh, summertime, and we're going to be out in the sun again and getting sunburned if we don't do something. And the sunscreens that are out there have so many chemicals and toxic substances, and when you put those on your skin, then um, 20 seconds and that's into your bloodstream. A lot of people don't test good for that sunscreen because the chemicals that are involved it will test as a contactant and so if we're going to go and play out in the sun then we need to have something. So I did a video previously you can find the link to it in the comments here in or below this video um, and check out how to make natural lotion but what I've done is I take that natural lotion that I've made, and that natural lotion is a combination of one-fourth of a cup of olive oil, and I like the Kirkland Organic, you want to make sure that your olive oil um, is pure olive oil and it's not cut with some cheaper oil that doesn't test good for your skin. Olive oil is a nutritive and it goes into the skin and it actually helps to feed and heal the skin. I like wheat oil because of the natural vitamin E content, and so I use a fourth of a cup of wheat germ oil, a fourth of a cup of organic olive oil, and then I use a fourth of a cup of fresh raw aloe vera leaf right from the plant. And I'll just cut that up and dig that gel out of there, and so it's a fourth of a cup, a fourth of a cup, and a fourth of a cup, and what you come up with when you blend that is a mayonnaise type substance. And then to that, to make that lotion, this is the only lotion that I use on my skin after a bath or any time, um, to that, then to make it into a sunscreen, then I will use a uh, non-nano zinc oxide. This is pharmaceutical grade. And to my fourth of a cup, fourth of a cup, and fourth of a cup, I'm going to add another fourth of a cup, so that's all equal parts of this zinc oxide. And so just a fourth of a cup. I'm just going to stir that in. And so I whip that into my little substance. Just like that, it's really simple. Once I have the lotion made. And then I can just put that into my covered jar and put that in the fridge. Now because this is fresh oil, and oil tends to oxidize in light and in heat, and the um, aloe vera should be refrigerated, then this lotion, or this sunscreen, needs to be kept refrigerated. Now one thing that I want to point out is, um, go, I've been to the beaches on Maui and the different islands, and on just about every beach then you'll see a sign that says, don't use uh, sunscreen on your skin if you're going to go into the water because it kills the marine life. And so they know how toxic sunscreen is there because it actually has an effect on the environment and kills the marine life in the ocean. It's just kind of like if you were to take a couple of tablespoons of sunscreen and stir that into your saltwater fish tank, those fish aren't going to survive. And so you're having the same effect with a lot of people slathering on hands full of sunscreen and then going into the ocean. That's the effect it has. And so we know that those substances, those chemicals, are toxic. And so we want to create our own natural sunscreen that is, has natural elements, natural zinc oxide, which is healing to the skin anyways, other elements that are healing to the skin, and use that instead. It is an SPF 20, it does work, and I hope that um, that helps you through the summer. Um, if you want to get a hold of Carolee to work on any skin issue or any issue with quantum techniques, you can get a hold of me at carolee at quantumtechniques.com. Have a great day.